It's a great day to be a collector. Hi, I'm Steve, and this is my collection of Gary Carter baseball cards. Uh, I wanted to make today's video about uh, cards that actually came out of Gary Carter's personal collection. Now, um, when he passed away in uh, 2012, I guess his family had decided that uh, they were going to put some items up for auction to go to charity. Um, collectors purchased uh, some of these cards and some of them made it to the market, uh, I guess, after the auction was over. And um, I guess several of these items I was able to pick up on uh, eBay. But uh, I'll show you guys a couple of different stacks of it. And um, I don't know, do you have any ideas on uh, any comments, rather? Uh, let me know. All right. So the first stack I'll show you is from the um, 1959 Tops. I'll just go through them really quickly. Uh, this is a Roger Maris card, really nice. I won't even talk about the grades on it because it's not about the grades. It's more about the, you know, what was owned by Gary himself. Um, it's a nice Bob Gibson. Fortunately, on this one, the case is a little cracked on the bottom, but nonetheless, doesn't matter to me. Pretty cool. Here's we got Hank Aaron. Thought it was really funny that my first video ended at 7 minutes and 15 seconds, and I thought of Hank Aaron immediately. We got Sandy Koufax. Very nice. Very nice. And we've got Roberto Clemente. Very cool. Roberto Clemente did a lot of humanitarian aid during his lifetime, and I like to think that Gary Carter did a lot of um, charity work as well during his life uh, with the Leukemia Society, etc. So these two gentlemen have a lot in common in terms of uh, doing a lot of good for a lot of people. So that's Roberto Clemente. And we have Mickey Mantle. I'll come back to the idea about Mickey Mantle in a little bit. That's a cool card. With this set, I'm not quite sure. Some of them have lighter backs and some of them have gray backs. If anybody out there has any ideas about that, let me know. You'll educate me on that. Um, this next stack, um, I just really like Dave Winfield. Uh, I met him. I had the opportunity to meet him at the Yankees 2009 World Series victory game. He was uh, working with ESPN, and um, he is huge. Uh, he's a big man. Uh, we were standing up on a uh, platform, and I swear his head must have come up to my chest, and he was standing on the ground. Uh, so he's a he's a large guy. Uh, but anyway, real nice guy. Very He was a gentleman. Um, he was saying hello to everybody, as many people as he could. He recognized that the people were there to see a game, and um, he, was, he was a gentleman. Very nice guy. Ozzie Smith. This is the Topps version. Cool. And this is the Opeachy. Again, these are all Gary Carter collection cards um, that I've had the opportunity to pick up on eBay. This one, I uh, Nolan Ryan. Remember growing up, Nolan Ryan was pretty much the pitcher. Um, I caught him at the tail end of his career, but nonetheless, everybody loved Nolan Ryan. I just thought it would be really nice to have a Nolan Ryan card in my collection. So here it is. This is a really nice. This is a really nice specimen being in uh, '88 at SGC. Um, Duke Snyder. This is a cool card. This is my father's favorite player growing up. Um, so it was pretty cool to see this card. And then we have the Gary Carter rookie out of his collection. Now, I've done a little bit of research on this. I think there's something on the order of about eight rookie cards that he had auctioned, uh, that the family had auctioned off in the course of the uh, Gary Carter collection auctions. Uh, but I believe that this is the highest graded specimen in the lot. Uh, but there are, I think, seven others out there. Um, this next bunch, um, the next bunch um, is significant in that. In doing some research on this, I found that um, when Gary built a lot of his sets, he apparently built around a lot of the cards he had from his childhood. And uh, he uh, must have saved them, just like a lot of us do. And he built his sets, I guess, when he when he was uh, wealthier as a ball player. But he kept, I guess, the the 
cards he has as a, had as a child, and he built the sets around them. So uh, these next set of cards um, are cool. I'm not a football card collector, but when I saw mm -hmm. them offered, I said, yeah, you know, why not? Uh, in reading his books, he was a quarterback as a as a young as as a younger uh, athlete uh, in football. Apparently, got uh, scholarships to go to UCLA. Had an injury in high school, but nonetheless, he probably really enjoyed football, football cards, and football players. And um, I'm trying to remember. I know he mentioned Bart Starr in one of his books, but I'm sure he liked uh, the other players I have too. Here's Paul Horning. Now with this card, I can't. It's not SGC. But you can see the signature on the back has been authenticated on other cards that um, these are indeed his signature just from, I guess, when he was a child to signify that he owned the cards as opposed to maybe his brother or friends. But um, again, this is the Bart Star. And you'll see these are the champions from the 1960s. So I'm guessing that as a young, as a young uh, athlete and a kid, Gary probably enjoyed watching the champions. But you'll see that the signature on the two very similar so I don't have this one authenticated but it's as good as being authentic in my opinion and then we just have I tried to round out the the lot with a Packers um, team card I just thought that that would be cool to have and then this last group I'll show you before I'm done for today will be uh, the Mickey Mantle cards that I was able to pick up uh, singleton uh, this one well, first one's a singleton the other one was part of a set but nonetheless uh, I thought this card was really cool that's really cool this again this is all Gary Carter collection cards this has kind of become my latest um, thing to do is to find cards from his collection and this last one is turning into being one of my new favorite cards in my entire collection and um, it's this Mickey Mantle 1959 Tops uh, All-Star card. But what's really cool about this one, and it wasn't graded uh, when I got the set or anything, but back here, you can see it has the same Gary on the back as the other ones. Um, so Mickey Mantle being Gary's favorite player as a child, uh, this card was probably one of his favorite cards, I'm, I'm guessing. Um, and it's really meaningful to have this card in my collection. Uh, so I'll take good care of it, put it into a nicer container. Um, but nonetheless, these are my Gary Carter collection cards. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing this. Um, and I'm sure that there are other cards out there from other collectors too. But um, if you have any ideas for future um, episodes of me putting my cards up and showing you my Gary Carter collection, please let me know. If you like this, uh, you know, like it, and uh, if you really want to, subscribe. And again, I, I encourage you guys to check out the other YouTubers. I mentioned my first one, um, Yankees Cards, Giuseppe One, uh, Titanic Taters, Tops 85401, and Griffey Hoarder uh, 24. Those are the guys that really um, inspired me to do this. Um, but nonetheless, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Thanks a lot for watching.